Washington of Brass 34 responding. Be nice that they have requested that be evacuated. However, there are still subjects on scene at this time. Uh, this is a huge deal. We are practicing something that can save lives. Scott Belcher with ITS America is here. Thank you for joining us. Oh, it's great to be here. Tell us uh, exactly what's going on here. So we've got a mock incident where we're showing that how technology can really affect and help first responders. This incident is taking place on a freeway. You can see we have the freeway mapped out here. This is going to close both directions of the interstate. What it was stimulating was a tanker overturning so we could show our hazmat capabilities with our hazmat team. Highlight some of the technology that we wish we had now. Just amazing stuff they have. ITS America and our local team here to choreograph what you're looking at today. There are at least 16 different agencies around the Detroit area involved in this cleanup. Disaster drill here today is all about technology and the EMS systems working together to save lives. Everybody has the latest and greatest in technology, and including the helicopters, so it makes for a very well uniformed system. It's all about us working together to do the, the right thing for the right patient, with the right vehicle, and the right crew, and the right destination. I didn't know how they could handle something that big, and they choreographed it beautifully. This is a nice opportunity to see the interaction, the coordination between the emergency responders, the firefighters. And what that means to our motoring public is that it'll clear the roads so we can get on with our day.